right. This tank is going to be a project. Um, so this is before I've done anything to it other than take some paper off the back. Um, this kind of works out because this tank wasn't good for much more than what I'll be using it for anyways. Um, this whole screen, this whole screen top's going to go, it's going to get trashed. Uh, there's no use for it, but this is a 36 by 18 by 18. It needs to be cleaned. I've got this Velcro to get and get this stickiness off. So whoever owned it before attached this light via Velcro in the back, so that's got to come out. I got more of it in here. Got to scrub it out real good. So this one's going to be a project, but hey, it was free. Tearing this off too. So I just wanted this to be more of a kind of a before and then I'll have the after when I'm done and this thing is planted. And I'm sure I'll do a video once there's frogs in it, but this is gonna be a uh, either a Tinctorius tank or a Philobates Vitatus. Not Vitatus, Philobates Terribilis tank. Haven't quite decided yet, but that's okay because my God, this thing's a wreck. I haven't really decided because one of the nice thing about dark frogs, uh, I haven't decided what frogs I want to put in here because with the vivarium, since you have to let them cycle for usually about a month or so after you've planted them, you kind of have to take your time in deciding what you're going to put in it because there's no rush. <clears throat> so, first things first is this lid is out of here. This thing is gross. Usually when I take a vivarium, usually when I take a vivarium like this and use it for dart frogs, I end up, uh, I'll resell the, the screen lid. Uh, because there's someone out there who probably needs it and I don't want to just throw it away so I try to list them on eBay for a semi reasonable price and just resell them because I guarantee you there's someone out there who got one of these without the lid and needed it gone or uh, and needed one so I try to sell them when I can but let's see yeah this sucker needs work but it's gonna look really good when I have frogs in it. All right, y'all, so for this build, I have my glass cut for this 36 by 18 by 18. And then thanks to New England Herpeticulture, who I get some of my wood pieces from because their prices seem to be the best. I got this piece of uh, Malaysian driftwood. Then I've got a nice big cork flat. Uh, and then I have this driftwood piece that my parents found somewhere and we're never using so that'll be a cool cool piece um tank wise so this is a 36 by 18 by 18 i got four leucomelis that are going to be going in here i have these leaves that i need to boil uh that i pulled and then i've got to make my abg mix and i've got the lava rock for the false bottom that's all outside so i got a lot to do so let's get going i got the false bottom in um, I just use lava rock from Lowe's. You can buy the false bottom from Josh's Frogs or other supply stores, but at the end of the day, they all do the same thing. Um, and I mean, it's for a, a big bag of that, it's crap, I like for a big bag of that, it's maybe five bucks, but something I'm doing different with this, flip my screen around, is I've got these two pieces of plastic to raise it up and kind of give it some texture. So you'll see that this will be kind of raised and then it slopes down a little bit. Just kind of changes it up a little. So um, now it is time to start making the ABG. Before we get into the ABG real quick too, I forgot a step. Uh, take some screen, cover the false bottom. This separates, keeps the dirt from mixing in with that water. And uh, if the plants are in constantly saturated conditions like sitting in water, they don't survive. So. 
you want a barrier between the false bottom and the substrate and that's what this is and then I take a little piece of half inch PVC and stick it in one of the corners um, and what this is for is when it's time to drain out that layer I have a turkey baster I just pull this out get the turkey baster in there suck up whatever water I need to and then I just put it back but I get a half inch PVC cap on this so the frogs don't go in there and get stuck now it's time to make the ABG okay so I have some of my ABG here um, here <coughs> flip it around so I like to make my own and I actually use four or five different ingredients I have some cypress mulch um, there's some organic topsoil uh, some of this critter care paper bedding breaks down really well in here and I use actually some coffee grounds and eco earth um, I don't use a ton of coffee grounds in here they do I think they whether or not they actually help the plants or not I'm not I'm not entirely sure but I like to think it makes a difference I know at the coffee shop that I get my coffee grounds from when they dumped them out back the plants were growing like crazy so I do put a little bit in here but not a ton uh, obviously if you're gonna have frogs and you're gonna have uh, springtails and isopods in here then you're gonna want to use organic topsoil you don't want to use any of these substrates that have uh, any fertilizer or anything in them um, but this is kind of like a homemade ABG of sorts uh, and I'm gonna make it in batches until this is where it needs to be and then it'll be time for the sphagnum moss layer come on light we have the substrate layer in now um, some people like to put in the spag and then plant the plants I'm gonna go ahead and plant the plants now then do the spag layer then I got to do my leaves so I have this grow out tub for plants these are some of the plants we've been putting in here um, and then I have another begonia on the porch that I'm gonna use um, hopefully these will take off and this will look good so I'll show you the result in a minute as soon as I'm done alrighty so I got some of the plants in um, doesn't look like much now but give it a few minutes because right now I'm in the process of starting to boil some water to boil some oak leaves uh, and then I have a bag of magnolia here to, uh, to boil as well the fortunate thing is uh, living here in the south Living here in the south, we've got oak, live oak, and magnolia trees everywhere. So sourcing these leaves is super easy for me because I pretty much just have to go to my backyard and get them. Um, not the case for a lot of other people across the country who don't have access to this kind of stuff. But you can still buy magnolia leaves and oak leaves from Frog Daddy, who I recommend. He's up in Charlotte. Uh, or Joshua's Frogs. I try to support the smaller guy, which is Alex at uh, Dark, uh, Frog Daddy. And uh, yeah find his uh, website and get that stuff if you don't have it near you uh, let's see if we can do this <clears throat> so I boiled magnolia leaves I boiled oak leaves this is some extra that I have um, did a layer covering most of the spag you'd really you want to kind of do it so that you don't see the spag at all um, threw in some of these magnolia leaves and then I threw in my pieces of wood so I have some cork bark a cool piece of driftwood that's like a cave that you can see all the way through they'll really like that another piece of driftwood um, some Malaysian driftwood, I mean more cork bark here, I'm sorry, cork bark, Malaysian driftwood, um, and then I got my plants in here, I'm back to throw some more uh, leaf litter here in the corners, uh, and then what I'll do too is you want to kind of, I want to mention this beforehand, but you want to pack down some spag in every one of the corners to keep anything from falling in, because usually that's kind of a loose spot, is these corners down here, and you'll you'll get debris and stuff down there and if it's packed in then you don't have to worry about it that much <clears throat> um, and actually I still have one more plant to put in here but I have two extra bromeliads that I got from frog daddy uh, that were in my vitatus tank um, and then some creeping Jenny which is gonna go crazy in here I'm trying out this purple heart plant I don't know how well that's gonna work it's in the same class as wandering Jew um, I got another begonia down back there that hopefully will take off um, some ivy some uh, I think this is called like dollar plant this will probably take over too uh, this is a phytonia of some kind phytonia another ivy of some sort 
Um, so I'm gonna get this other begonia in here and it should be good to go. And I can then seed it with my um, isopods and springtails. So now I'm starting to seed with the springtails and isopods. I just put in some springtails. I doubt you can see any. There's... You can see him crawling around a little bit there, but I'll uh, I'll be adding more as I go. So I have my springtail cultures right here. I have two of them, and then I have an isopod culture right here. And typically, what I'll do is I'll just take a piece of this uh, cardboard and shake it off in there because there's a ton of baby spring, uh, isopods all over it. As you can see there, I'll let those grow up. I'll get some adults. I'll throw them in there, and uh, we'll be good to go. Okay guys, the time is now come. I got my four Lukes from my buddy Sean uh, and they're going in the big tank. So this tank, it's, the, about, it's been about um, a month or so since I did the video of planting this and everything else. I added some extra stuff, uh, a couple extra plants here and there. Um, but. It's still got some a little bit of growing to do, but it'll fill out some more, but it's got more than enough hiding places for these guys and, and whatnot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add them in. Uh, let's do it. These are them. I'm not gonna focus. Can't do this one-handed. All right, so these are them. Got four of them. Two. Three, they got some growing to do. The fourth one is in the back there. You can't really see him, but I'm gonna let these guys be and probably throw them some flies here shortly. And or I actually I'll probably throw them some flies either tonight or tomorrow. Give them some some time to explore and hang out. And uh, yeah, this tank should be more than enough for a group of four. So. Uh, if you have any questions about the build or anything like that, drop it in the comments. And subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Thank you. See you later.